Welcome to Adult Education Computer-Based Training's Final Presentational Home Movie. And this is my partner, Edgar. Hello, and everyone. We are your Masters of Ceremony for tonight. And if you look at our agenda this evening, we have quite a few items that we want to cover. Uh, the first part will be some presentations on uh, history, workforce training, uh, workforce meetings and collaborations, and education. Then we'll have a quick tour of the Dresden Museum and teleport over to the think tank. After that, we'll teleport home to see a few uh, videos and uh, get your comments. Uh, so Philip Rosedale, known as Philip Linden, uh, the avatar in Second Life, envisioned a vast area of uh, where users could roam freely, build out boundaries, interact without boundaries. He wanted a huge sandbox to play. And of course, the other is what we're doing here today interacting with each other. Uh, we can interact through IM, through chat, through voice, uh, through gestures. And if I had my animation overrides like Pamela, as you'll see later, um, you know, my presentation would appear more fluid, more believable. Um, Pamela is very captivating when she speaks, and I'm, I'm glad she's speaking way after I... I will be speaking today about the workplace and the training in Second Life. Uh, immersive environments such as virtu virtual worlds and video games have attracted uh, the attention uh, attracted attention as potential environments for work and learning. 80% of internet users will be in a virtual world by 2011. Corporations such as um, No, which is the Hurricane Center, and we do have a center here at the at the campus at Modesto Maidik and FIU, uh, GE. Um, a company called Cigna VLife, it's an English company, and what they do is that they provide um, targeted and measurable health and well-being solutions, including health risk assessments and lifestyle management programs. They teach their clients and their, and their employees how to live a healthier life. So they use Second Life to implement this. It found that over 50% of the participants in Second Life made real life changes towards their um, lifestyle and what they eat. Air Force uses Second Life for simulations on how to fly, fly their jets. Clothing, uh, building elements, as you can see in the house that was uh, created, you'll see uh, a lot of uh, different items, uh, such as, uh, for example, in the second floor, an office, uh, on the first floor, an aquarium, an area for PowerPoint. Here in this small plot on a little residential sim, the students learned the capabilities of a 3D website. They learned space limitations, ownership rights, and land music and permissions. They learned what prims are and how to edit and manipulate them into position, all while juggling their real life schedules and team responsibilities. They watched and collaborated in picking out and assembling a space that they knew would have to be functional for today's presentation. Um, you know, we would hear some of our friends' dogs barking in the background. It was fun that we were able to actually be at home and have a class with each other. Um, flexible education, the fact that you can do this at any time. Um, then we were off the whole class to the Dresden Museum, an old master's picture gallery located in the Zingwiger Palace in Dresden, Germany. Over 750 master paintings from Renaissance to Baroque, which were part of the Dresden State Art Collection owned by Saxony. It went virtual in 2007 with true scale of the magnificence, representations of the buildings and the pictures, with the other added interactions of web information and sound files. From here, we went from the recreation of real life to the underwater fantasy area of the think tank to discuss and demonstrate that believability comes with the fluidity of motion. Of identity and being able to um, form your identity or express your identity through this environment. You can 
I guess, shape it by the interactions that you have with others. Means that each user here in the room um, actually controls how quickly they get through the video, as in you can stop and start it, pause it, rewind it, fast forward it. We we'll come out to visit, but given a number of patients, this becomes prohibitive. Second Life gives participants a sense of presence. It can be accessed from any laptop computer with a broadband internet connection. This proof of concept will be further enhanced when we move to the Second Life Enterprise solution. Major companies and entities to use Second Life as a means of online training. The thing that keeps you engaged in a virtual environment is the immersive interactions of the little things, like walking down to the hall to get to the door to open it for the professor. You are still listening, but you're engaged. You can be part of the environment. You can feel like you belong there. It's a location that not only do you see, but you are there. That is the engagement that keeps the mind entertained, that keeps you having that experiential immersion environment. <laughs> it's the party that proves this technology because it's all about the people, perceptions, and retaining those experiences.